Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to set up fluid typography in Breakdance. Now, what is fluid typography? Fluid typography is a responsive typography technique where the text scales automatically with the screen size. For example, as the screen size increases, the typographic value such as the font size, line height, and letter spacing also increases. So let's just uh, see uh, how it is. Now, this is a heading and if i go ahead to reduce the screen size you will see that at some point it begins to scale down and then at a particular point it stops scaling you see it remains the same no matter how small you know i make it uh, make the screen so uh and if i increase the screen everything starts increasing again so this is what we're going to be setting up in breakdance now let's jump over to breakdance now, right here, I already have a section, a div, and I've placed a heading here. Responsive typography are typically applied to the heading. So uh, that is why we're going to uh, duplicate this heading and make it like uh, up to H4. If you think your website is going to have up to H5, then feel free to make it up to H5. So I'm just going to hit up uh, Ctrl D or Command D, and then uh, I'm going to make that H2 h3 and h4 now if i go ahead to uh, reduce this you can see that it does not reduce okay it's the same it's not responsive uh, in my previous video about setting up uh, global styles in breakdance i talked about a technique uh, advanced technique to set up a typography scaling in breakdance using the breakdance uh, properties like uh, the ratio now let's go into the global setting so i'm going to show you what i'm talking about in that video, I use this ratio to set up responsive typography. But in this video, we're not going to make use of the ratio. We're going to bypass this completely and use a completely different technique. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go into the code here, add a style sheet. Um, let me just quickly move this here. Yeah. What I want to do is to first of all, set the HTML font size so that one RAM is going to be equal to 10 pixels. That way it's going to be easy to set up our values or units in RAM. So I'm going to just write HTML and then open and close and I'm going to say font size that will be 62.5%. Now this is going to ensure that one RAM is equals to 10 pixels. And now the next thing you want to take note of is your, the container. This is the global settings. Okay. You want to take note of your container width which defines your site width by default uh the container width is typically i think 11 20 or so uh so i'm just going to go to the front end here and take a look at this and uh i'm going to just check this container width okay so if i go to compute it let's bring this up if i go to compute it so you're going to see that you have uh you know 1080 1080 plus 40 so that is going to give you uh 1120 so you know that your side width is 1120 pixels but let's say we wanted to increase our side width to let's say uh you know 1400 pixels or 140 rem so uh remember that we have already set uh html font size so 140 rem is going to give us uh, 1400 pixel so if I save this and then we go to the front end and refresh again so um, you're gonna see that if I come here okay to select that section and go to compute it you're gonna see that we have 1360 uh, plus the 2020 patterns accounts for the the width of the site okay so you have a thousand uh, four hundred pixel for the site width now so we have that. So you have to take note of that because it's going to come into play. Your site width is going to come into play in your responsive typography settings. The next thing is to decide the, the maximum and the minimum uh, font sizes for our headings. So for our H1, so let's say we want the H1 to be 80 pixels uh, at the desktop and then the minimum size will be 32 pixels. So we're going to go to a website called websemantics.uk. Uh, slash tools slash responsive font calculator or you could just google uh, responsive uh, typographic calculator and you should see this in the results uh, what i'm going to do is to 
uh, come down here and then this is the tool we're going to be using and it's a popular tool you may have seen it in a couple of other videos uh, so we're using the unit rem and these other ones will remain because we, we're doing font size now the range now let's 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 keep this now here is the viewport now 32 this is in rem 32 means 320 pixels and uh, 120 means 1200 pixels but in our case uh, we are having uh, 1400 uh, pixels that's 140 rem for our viewport width so we're saying the range of a viewport width that we want to use in calculating this fluid typography is going to be 320 pixels to uh, 1400 pixels the maximum font size wanted to be 80 pixels now 80 pixels is 8 rem and then the minimum is going to be 32 pixels which is uh, 3.2 rem so you can see why uh, we changed the typography scale to make one rem equal to 10 pixels so it's, it's easy to just uh, know the pixel unit that you want to use just by putting the rem so 8 is just 80 and 3.2 is 32 it's just easier that way and then we want to use min max uh, you could use clamp but I usually prefer using min max and then uh, then all we need to do is to copy this calculation that is already uh, applied so I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna go back there to breakdance now we want to apply you know that to our h1 so now if you go to under typography here if you go to advanced you're gonna see headings and then you're gonna see where you can put in the heading size but I'm gonna strongly recommend that you do not put it here okay don't put it here because if you put it here I mean it's not wrong to put it here it's still gonna work so I'm just gonna drop it there so you can see that it will work so you can see now let me just start moving this you can see how it scales uh, very neatly and then it just stops scaling at some point now uh, but the thing is this if you put it here you're gonna uh, lose the advantage of the breakdance preset system which is a very powerful system now let me explain to you what I mean there are times that you really want to maybe you have a text let me just drop an ordinary text here and then you want that text to have the a visual appearance of a heading let's say you want a text to look like an h1 but for semantic reason or SEO reason you don't want that text to have the h1 tag as a matter of fact there are times you don't even want it to have a heading tag you just want it to be a regular text now if you use at that value directly to the h1 settings now if you want to have this text have the appearance of the h1 you have to also go in and start editing the text to look like the h1 but that is a long you know very needless uh needless trouble when you're working with breakdance you really don't have to go through that trouble because of the preset system so now what we're going to do is i'm going to go in there and just take that out for now and then I'm going to go to the preset and add a preset and then I'm going to call my preset h1 and for the font size I'm just going to come here and paste that now you see nothing changes because we have not applied that preset and for the weight it's you know the h1 is 700 so I'm just going to leave it like that for 700 so you can see that uh, we have not set our h1 but I believe the h1 should be 700 but uh, let's let's just uh, go with 700 for now now the next thing I'm going to do is to go into that advanced and then I'm gonna to go to the heading and apply that h1 preset now the advantage of this now we're using a preset to apply uh, the heading size we still have that okay but the advantage is that if I want this my text to have the same size as my heading I can simply go to the typography settings and apply the h1 uh, size to it and it's going to give me my h1 size now notice that it doesn't look exactly like this but if I wanted it to be exactly like this I would have to make sure that preset is set to be like the heading so I'm going to give it the I'm going to just repeat the font family for the heading the only thing you can do in the preset is that you cannot have uh, the the color okay of the heading you can have the color but the style of the heading you can have it so let's say I copy this and paste here you can see that we're having exactly the same style as the heading and it is also fluid but here we have an ordinary text so that enables you to take advantage 
of the powerful preset system. So I recommend that whatever you're going to do here, that you're going to use the preset not to add that value directly in the heading settings. So now we have set up the, the we've set up the H1. We're going to do the same thing for the H2. And I want my H2 to be like say uh, 52. So I'm going to do 5.2. And then I want it to be 2.8, 28. And I'm just going to copy that. And go to that uh, preset. I'm going to add a preset. I'm going to call it uh, H2. And then I'm still going to do my font family, Laura. I mean, this is, you know, they're, they're not really necessary to do this. But if you know you're going to be using this preset for other kind of text, you just want to add it. And then maybe the font weight is still going to be that 700. But the most important thing is the type. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the advanced heading, the H2 size. And then on that preset, I'm going to apply the H2. So that gives me a responsive H2 typography. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same for the H3. I'm just going to quickly breeze through this. So for the H3, I want to have, let's say, um, 36 or 40. So I'm just going to do four. And then this, I want this to be 24. So I'm going to do 2.4 and I'm going to come here and copy uh, that and go back there and create a preset for my H3. And then uh, I'm not going to do the font family thing. You know, if you need it, it should be on uh, on neat basis. And then I'm not going to do the weight. Everything should be on neat basis. And then um, I'm going to go here and then select that preset three and for the h4 i'll just repeat the same thing uh, for the h4 i think i'll like a, a 3.2 and then i have here say maybe 20 pixels and i'm going to just copy that and go to the preset add a preset h4 and uh, font size go to custom all right so always remember to go to custom okay and then under advanced i'm going to go to my heading h4 preset and then i'm going to choose that h4 so now we're done with that so you can see that if i move this you see it's responsive so you have your fluid typography so let's go to the front end i'm going to just refresh this and um, i'm going to launch my browser inspector tool and launch the responsive settings and you can see that I have a big H1 uh, here followed by an H2 that is not, you know, just follows uh, the, the size uh, gradually. And you can see that that moves, uh, reduces, scales in a very fluid manner. So, so this is very powerful. I mean, uh, it just makes your site feels, you know, professional, feels uh extremely responsive now that we have set up the responsive uh, fluid typography there is one thing i want to point out to you now we go to the front end uh you see everything is clean responsive but it is important that we have a fallback just in case there's any browser that does not support uh bin marks now min marks is widely supported it has a very high percentage of usability or of you know support in the browser so you really don't have to worry but just in case it's always good now the good thing about this is that if you go here and look at the size okay let me just move this to to this part so you can see now now if you look at the h1 size for example now you can see the font size is defined here now take a look at this you have another font size now this is the default breakdance font size and this will serve as a fallback now if for any reason this doesn't work you see now you see we still have a font size here but the thing is that it is not responsive so we need to set that up to make it responsive and what we're going to do is we're going to go in there and then we're going to use the ratio so uh, on the desktop i'm going to keep the ratio at 1.333 and then we go down here i want to put it at 1.3 and then we go down here i want to put it at 1.28 and then we go all the way down here i want to put it at 1.22 and here 
all the way down here, 1.8. Uh, so now you could play with these values uh, to suit what you need. And then how do you know how this value works? You can see that we still have a responsive typography, but let's go to the front end. And then um, if I refresh this, and then we still have, you know, a responsive typography. But if for any reason this doesn't work, you can see that maybe I've turned that off for the H1. You can see this is our fallback. But then because we have set the, you can see we have set that. Now something is off here. So it seems that 1.8 was uh, just uh, not working. So uh, I'm going to go all the way down here and take that value out. It's just not working. I may have made a mistake there. Maybe something is wrong. I shouldn't have put that value. Uh, so let's let's leave it at, you know, 1.22 should work. So I'm going to refresh that again. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the, the font size that is based on the flu typography. So right now, what we're going to be looking at now is our uh, fallback. So you can see it's not fluid, but it's responsive. You know, it's adaptive typography. So it moves, it adapts. You can see as the screen gets to a certain breakpoint, it, it grows and then it grows and then grows. So this is the fallback. This is called adaptive typography. But if your responsive typography is working properly and there's no need for it to fall back, then you can see that it's going to be um, fluid like you know we want it to be so this will be fluid okay so this is not adaptive you can see it's fluid okay all right so that's all for today's lesson if you love this video and you learned something from it please hit the thumbs up uh, subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video just like this I'm gonna be bringing you more breakdance videos and if you haven't seen my videos on breakdance I'm gonna link them at the top right corner so check them out until next time have a great day.